Okay, just gonna have a play with the wild stove. <clears throat> See if I can use a Swedish fire torch in it. Um, I'm estimating about two inches, so thumb length for the sticks because we don't want to block the holes up. So I've already cut a few of these beforehand. Um, I need one more. You don't want to see boring videos of sawing. This is a handy bit of kit. This is from uh, B and Q, about eleven quid. All right. When I finish my stove, always pack it away nice and clean. Always put a bit of birch bark in the top, just to ready for the next fire up. Yeah, I love these stoves. So, hopefully, see if this works. You all know about birch bark, how tarry it is, very easy lighting. Well, I've tried this method before on this stove, so <clears throat> this will be quite interesting. See if it fires up all right. I was going to use uh, the old cotton wool and Flint, but it's another thing from eBay. Very good. Good to know, isn't it? I don't know how dry <coughs> the pieces of wood were, I got them yesterday, um, and I'm using um, these on beach, so it's quite a hard wood. I'm going to have a nice cup of tea once this gets going. Give it a look. So, we'll let this catch and um, come back in a sec. Let's see if we're doing alright. So really the experiment today is, will this stove gasify using this sort of method? Like It's almost like the Swedish fire torch. Um, little logs on the outside, little fire in the middle. Um, to see if it will sort of gasify. Um, fingers crossed. Okay, I've got to take one out. Um, too tightly packed. 
I'm not getting enough oxygen on the uh, the wood, so just put a bit more birch bark in the centre, and then see if to see what this goes like. And then we'll get the kettle on. But that uh, looks a bit better now. Yeah, I put too many in, so um, first mistake. It is going. It's quite slow. I can I'll show you. So we'll give it a go, put the kettle on. Okay, first attempt. A little bit. I suppose it could be the fact that the wood is damp, but it looks pretty dry to me. I mean, it's dry. It, it was dry standing. So, it's going. Slowly, so will I get the kettle on and uh, see if we can get a rolling boil out of it? It's not gasified just yet, so I'm not too impressed, not with the stove, with me and the Swedish fire torch effect putting the wood on the outside. So mm, it's burning okay in the middle of it, but not that good. Not that good, as you can see. You see that? It's not. Maybe. I might one down a bit, I think. Maybe I might get some more heat in the middle, which will penetrate the rest of the wood. But it could be damp. The wood could be damp. But we'll give it a go. See if we can get some heat out of this thing. But it's not gasifying properly. And it usually is a fantastic bit of kit, so. Right. Okay, now we're cooking on gas. Definitely. I broke out the SE and um, chopped up some, found some really good dry stuff. And look at it now. So, the most of the wood I was using was not very good, I'm afraid. So, we've got some uh, serious gasifying going at the moment. Definitely, definitely need dry tinder. Must not dry tinder, dry wood, and dry tinder as well to get it going. Get it back in a sec. Oh, it's right, I feel it. It's starting to boil. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. It's about two minutes, three minutes maximum. Time for coffee. Yeah, so I'm thinking 
nice dry small pieces seem to work best I did try the uh, Swedish but I don't think it's enough I know you get enough oxygen around the wood to, to start the gasifying I'll do for the next brew. So I've just dropped some more on. You can see it. If you can view into that. Gasifying already within that's what 20 seconds. So definitely is. I mean, it does burn quite quick. It's very dry. It's a soft wood. Um, so you want know, some really good dry hardwood, and it lasts longer. But doing okay. it like the Swedish fire torch. I think is not the best way. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe or um, thumbs up or leave, leave any comments, or even if you tried this experiment, let me know how you got on. That would be great. Thanks very much. Bye.